We spent 10 days in Oaxaca City and we can safely say this is a must visit if you are planning a trip to Mexico. As with most cities, we kicked off with a walking tour to get a lay of the land, listen to some history and meet some other travellers. Oaxaca is known as the culinary and cultural epicenter of Mexico, so we were very keen to dive deep into the city and experience everything on offer. The walking tour first took us to the main church, which was as beautiful as they come and has weathered quite a few earthquakes and even revolutions over the years. Oaxaca is also famous for its annual Gelaguetza Festival, which features performances that largely take place at the stage you can see here, and food vendors from all throughout Oaxaca and Mexico. If you can visit during the festival, we highly recommend it. The tour continued to an organic market where we tried everything we could get our hands on, including some tamales, mole and aguas frescas. We also visited a chocolate museum and a textile factory to see some of the products Oaxaca is best known for. Now, knowing that Oaxaca is essentially the food capital of Mexico and a good number of our favorite Mexican foods originated here, a cooking class was number one on our list of must-do activities. We drove out to Etla, a town nearby Oaxaca City, to cook in a family home. Be sure to check out a link to this class in the description as we highly recommend it. The class kicked off by trying some Oaxacan delicacies, including grasshoppers and ants, which were definitely an interesting experience. We got to wash it all down with a very healthy amount of mezcal and beers, which helped us to really start embracing our new attire for the day. Beautiful. Give us a curtsy. <laughs> we learned how to make all manner of delicious food, from fresh tortillas to hand ground salsas and moles. We loved how everything was prepared in a traditional outdoor kitchen with molcajetes and volcanic grinding stones, techniques still around after centuries.
not to pat ourselves on the back, but it was all delicious. Our hosts were the highlight of the experience, showing us that classic Mexican hospitality and making us feel like part of the family. It was a sad goodbye for sure. Sometimes it's good to get away on your own and do something by yourself. And this is what I did when I booked this day tour. First stop, El Tule, famous for its gigantic tree. Its trunk is the thickest in the world and is definitely the biggest tree I've ever seen. Next up was a stop at the Mezcal factory where we learned all about the Mezcal making process and we got to try so many different varieties. Let's just say that it made the rest of the tour a lot more fun. See what I mean? This was on our way to the main attraction, Yerbe al Agua, just before a brief pit stop for lunch. For those of you that don't know, Yerbe del Agua is one of two petrified waterfalls in the world. In English, the name means the water boils, but it's actually kind of cold. The structure is a stalactite, but much more rare, as you don't usually find these formations outside of a cave. It was incredible, and I think it's definitely worth the visit. You just might not be as lucky as me in getting such an awesome group to go with. By this point, we had <clears throat> sampled a lot of mezcal, but we still wanted more. We found an Airbnb experience which coupled a more traditional tasting with a cocktail mixology class, where we battled it out in teams for the best cocktail. Check it out. Number one recommendation for food in Oaxaca is Casa Taviche, especially the menu of the day. Boy, does it deliver on flavor and value. So that caps off our time in Oaxaca, which was a city not to be missed. Now be sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing our adventures. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> just cut that off. No, do it again because just say like and subscribe um, and we'll see you in the, in the next one or something like that, just short. So that caps off our time in Oaxaca, which was a city not to be missed. Now be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.